and why I had high hopes of leaving home, my parents said, well, San Diego State has a great football team, you should go there. And so I worked full time, um, lived at home, um, much like most of, a lot of the students here. Started to political science as my major, and then I added economics as a major, and I added women's studies. So I think that signaled that I liked academics as, um, and what could have stayed in college, I think, forever. Which, when you become a professor, you do. And so I think that's how it started my career, is that I just really had a love of learning and I wanted to take every class in the catalog. Fort Lewis was a perfect match for me. It both had the, the mission, the value to personalized education, student-centered. Um, it had my background um, that uh, students coming here come from a variety of backgrounds and the commitment to Native American students and commitment to underrepresented students, essentially giving a student, someone a chance, um, finding those students with potential and then giving them the tools to be successful. Well, I said, liberal arts um, allows you the breadth of thinking. And I think that employers are, are wanting that these days. They, they want students that have critical thinking skills, you know, good writing skills, good oral communications, good analytical skills, but also that innovation, um, that ability to work in teams, to, uh, we often say, think outside the box, and a liberal arts education allows for that. If more women can be in positions of authority, um, then you're, you're continually breaking molds, you're breaking the glass ceiling, um, you're paving the way for future generations to, to move into a variety of careers. So that's important to me, and that I would say the same as well as Native American. Um, the more that you can break um, typical barriers of race and gender, um, that's a good thing.